You know, YouTube is really weird these days. I remember back in the golden days of YouTube, and, and I say golden days because it was like, it feels like it was just nothing but memes and stupid little videos that you would send to friends. Now that's kind of like what TikTok is. Now it's kind of like turned into like just hardcore competitive, um, like amateur filmmaker stuff. It's incredibly competitive these days. It's like, it's enough to bring a lot of anxiety. It's like, you sit there and you watch all these different kind of advice videos that say, um, okay, they say, okay, make, make more videos like this. Don't make videos like that. Well, you know, everybody's got different advice. What are you going for? I, I'm trying to be kind of like the goofy vlogger slash animator guy. So, do I make reviews? Do I post, um, post reaction videos? If you stay true to yourself and make something every week, well, if you're true to yourself, you might be so weird that you might not maintain a fan base. Getting monetized is like a massive competition. So sometimes that, that anxiety just kind of sits within me. I sit and think, okay, I'm going to do something that's going to, like, get me, um, well, I would adhere to the guidelines of, of what's socially acceptable. I won't be this weirdo with different colored hair and wearing a mask, and I'll talk about the kind of things everyone wants to talk about. But the, the truth is, is, like, everybody talks about that kind of stuff. Why don't I talk about the hard stuff, like the challenges of being an artist? It is hard to be an artist. Why don't I talk about what I feel is important? Well, I talk about that stuff and I don't get views. So it's it's really the hard thing is is it's 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 very competitive. Sometimes the algorithm will be completely against you. So I will be so I've got my Scribbleland um, music Roku channel, and I also have an on-demand channel that I'm slowly building. My plan is to put those on, put it on Apple, put it on, um, uh, what's it called, uh, Roku and all the other streaming services, and it'll be like a subscription base, but like artsy, weird stuff, kind of like my answer to Adult Swim made a magazine so it's like I've just been grinding and I think that's that's a good thing to do because sometimes when I work hard I see people just sometimes I see people just disappear from my life when when I work hard because I guess sometimes they just don't get it or maybe I'm just being paranoid I don't know but um, it's hard to make YouTube videos. I'm still gonna do it. I found more success with shorts, but then I found even more success with TikTok. Haven't really broke that threshold, but you know, it's hard. It's hard. So what do you do? Do you just give up? Sometimes I get frustrated and I take take a little bit of time off. But then I come back and I say, you yeah, know, don't give up. I guess persistence is the key to success. Consistency is the key to success key to success or what I could do is um, just try to do something different so I, I've been alternating between just my silly nonsense of talking about being an artist so I'll do a human video for those who care then I'll do a silly video it'll either be artistic it'll be something about me be something animated and then I'll try and make these into shorts too. give you guys occasional updates but you know if you care do you want the updates if you want the updates I got some updates if you don't want updates I got some art for you but you know I got I got 
If you want to watch it, I got stuff for you. But regardless, if you got stuff to make, go out there and make it. It's really hard. But you know what? Maybe, maybe they need, maybe the world needs a little bit more different. So if you got some different, make some different. Don't give up. I mean it.